I have just mounted my shaper on pretty thick concrete. It's about 16 inches or 40 centimeters. And I immediately started wondering how much the rigidity has improved. So uh, the cut here, once it reaches the shoulder, will be about 70 millimeters deep and 0 0.125 millimeter feed and that should be pretty much what this can take I doubt the horsepower will be enough to take even this really but we'll see I took yesterday a 15 millimeter cut here and it was vibrating slightly so what I did was I added some tiny leveling feet here to the foot where the support is sliding and while it was while I was here um, I resurfaced this there was about 0.1 millimeter deep in the middle so that's now straight and it it's further straightened by these jack screws and the foot is held down by these anchor bolts to the concrete and the whole machine is bolted down with 16 millimeter anchors there's six of them in total including these and this will be quite interesting to see how it handles the cut I will show you a little bit of this and bring you back when it's reaching the shoulder There were some holes in this block of scrap steel that I just took from a scrap pile but the holes uh, they don't reach to that shoulder so the cut will be continuous Okay, so now the cut is almost to the shoulder. I will first be with my hand on the lever if it fails for some reason, but I don't believe it should fail. And I, I would probably take even more deep cut, but my my current tool is not sharpened any deeper than the 17 millimeters so this will be the maximum cut and I don't actually need to cut away anything more than 17 millimeters anyway so I think that's only good I think now it's taking the full chip yeah you can hear that the motor is having pretty hard time and it actually even tries to chatter a little bit yeah that's the danger 
if the chip would stick to the tool and it would just slide slide and skip one stroke then on the next stroke it will take double white chip and it will definitely crash yeah it doesn't vibrate a whole lot but it it vibrates and where I think the problem is now is the vertical ways I don't even know what the axes are called in a shaper but the vertical ways and there, there's not even an adjustment on those ways I think the, those are not meant to be moved that much I will probably add a, a locking mechanism to those ways so that it will stay more rigid and I will I will show from the another other direction as well And the reason why this is cutting double chips is because the tool has a double grind. I originally had the tool only 13 millimeters deep and I figured that's not enough for me anymore. And I started to grind it deeper. But then I thought, uh, why to grind it all the way back? It will work just as well if I make a two-step tool. It will only make double chips. But it's not the chips we are making, it's the part. And not even a part in this case. We're just making fun or having and even the finish isn't all that bad. But I can see that the table is moving just a little bit only it is a bit unclear still where it's moving but I will try to investigate it better Yeah. But for this size of shaper, I think that's a pretty nice cut. A little more than 5 eighths of an inch. Uh, I don't know how much horsepower this motor has since it doesn't have a plate or anything but I know that this machine weighs about exactly one ton so it weighs about one quarter of the big machines like Cincinnati's or K&T's that we see on the A Bomb 79 and other channels, Steve Summers, 
they their machines weigh like four times more than this and this can take uh, 16 17 millimeters of chip so I think those machines should be able to take like 40 millimeters pretty easily with the same feed I don't know but I will stop this video and next time something else Please like and subscribe if you liked the video. I know this might be too long winded for some people. But if you don't like long videos or narrated videos or um, things like that, you could play at two times the speed. Or then, if it's still too slow, uh, you could watch someone else's videos then. Yeah, but stick around, subscribe, see you next time.